Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to do a quick update on what's been done to the car so far. And I'll put a video up a few weeks ago, or actually a couple months ago, of a quick walk around of the car. And I didn't say anything about what's been done to the car, or future plans at all, so here we are. Um, two days ago, I installed the APR carbon fiber chin splitter. It turned out really well. Installation was about three and a half, four hours. Not too hard not too bad it was uh the biggest pain was removing the front bumper which really wasn't that bad but it turned out really well also this morning i installed the cdc outlaw spoiler i got it painted black to kind of offset the color of the car and match the wheels the installation on that was about about two hours the only thing is once you install it, it's permitted. You have to drill holes through the trunk. But uh, the fitment was perfect. The paint turned out really well. Uh, it cost me cost me about $250. I think it was $250 to get it painted. It turned out really well. I looked at a few other spoilers before I decided to go with this one. I looked at the Roush spoiler and a few other. I know a guy's got a carbon fiber, I can't remember the brand of it, but he's got a carbon fiber spoiler also that I really like, but I just decided to go with this. The only thing that's been done to the car so far mechanical wise is the McLeod RXT 1000 clutch was installed. It was installed about seven to 800 miles ago, so it's pretty much broke in by now. Uh, the drivability of the clutch, it feels pretty much like the stock clutch. It's a little bit heavier, but besides that, I mean, it drives, it drives great. Also, the Ebok Pro kit was installed also. I think it dropped it about an inch and a quarter or so. Pretty pleased with that. Um, some of the future plans for the car. I originally went with a D1 SC Pro Charger when my plans were to have about 650 to 700 horsepower to the wheels. And so I ended up sending that back and swapped it for the F1C head unit. And now my plans are to have around 850, 800 to 850 horsepower to the wheels. And that's why I'm also getting the engine pulled and installing the Pro Series, the Manly Pro Series I-beams, diamond pistons, forward racing block. The block that's in it now, the stock block, it's a great block, but I'm wanting a lot of overkill with the car. So that's why I'm going with a forward racing block. Also, I went with the voltage booster, and I think the voltage bo booster is good for about 650 to 700 horsepower. And so, I returned that, and I'm going with a return style fuel system, so I won't have any issues with lack of fuel. Also, I ordered the NT05R, the Nitto tires. As you can see, they're not installed yet. I'm not going to install until I actually need them. I don't want to put much wear on those tires until I actually need them. Um, also, I've got the Cooks long tube headers, inch and seven eighths, Catless X pipe, Cooks exhaust. Um, I need to get my windows tinted. That looks pretty bad. Also, I've got a few things from BMR, the vertical links, and a few other things. I'll post. I'll put up some videos as soon as those are installed. As soon as the BMR suspension upgrades are installed, just let you know how the install went and the drivability of the car afterwards. Some other future plans, parts that I have not actually ordered yet. The I need to upgrade my drive shaft. The half shafts. I know the half shafts are breaking on people, so I, I definitely want to upgrade those as well. Um, the MT82 transmission, I want to upgrade it to the T56 Magnum XL. That's just future plans on down the road stuff I don't have money for right now. But um, I think that's I think that's about it. The car will probably be done somewhere around January or so, mid January. But that's about that's about it for now. Anything else that gets done to the car, I'll definitely put up some videos. And as soon as the car is done, I'll definitely put up some videos of some drive-bys and 
some revs. But that's about it for now.